Mars is the fourth planet for our solar system. The planet has two moons, Phobos and Deimos. The planet Mars is called the red planet for the composition, which is nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and alcohol. When compared from the world planet, which is only nitrogen and oxygen. The planet Mars rotates on its own axis 1.5 times faster than the Sun. That is, it speeds 24 and 37 minutes. It is sickles in front of the Sun 687 days. The opposite is for the planet Earth, which runs an excess axis 24 hours and around the Sun 365 days. The planet Mars has carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and alcohol. The opposite of the planet Earth is it has oxygen and nitrogen. Planet Mars has 95% of carbon dioxide, 3% nitrogen, and 2% of alcohol. The planet Mars radius is 3289.5 kilometers. And its circumference is 31,296.9 kilometers. Meanwhile, on the planet Earth, 3,389 kilometers of radius and 21,296.9 kilometers of circumference. One of the challenges is to show to Mars which the distance between the Earth and Mars is about 225 kilometers. And to fly there, it will take between 150 and 300 days. The second challenge in the real planet Earth is how to plant plants and do farming. According to an article from Successful Farming at agriculture.com, there has been an investigation on how to do it which um, consists only in vegetarian diet strictly. According to an article, this is a trend in Dubai. They are planning to make a building to let people practice how to live in the planet Mars. The third challenge is how to protect astronauts against the radiation of the sun, solar storms. According to an article from NASA, the large solar storm was sparking more double radiation than before over the planet. According to an article from mirror.co.uk, NASA was to change astronauts' DNA, so it became less possibility of risk to produce cancer and the material on the planet. The reason I choose this planet Mars is that Mars always gave me a lot of enigma. Besides the challenge I mentioned it from the inside the video, is that I think that Mars can give us a lot of hints of how our solar system is formed and how it's possible that someday we can live in other planets and hope there's a life in our planets besides ours.